This is Autofocus, the Philippines' premier motor show. I'm Ray Louis Gamboa. Here are our features on this episode of Electronic Magazine, exclusive to the automobile and its industry. Starting off with reviews of two vehicle models presently in the local market. A mini crossover from Volkswagen, the Cross Santana, and a van from Hyundai, the Steria. Plus a feature-to-feature -feature comparison of two MPVs, the Mitsubishi Expander GLS 4AT versus the Toyota Avanza GCVT. On Autopedia, we'll talk about a vehicle's shock absorbers. And together with the latest news and developments in the local auto industry, we shall have the highlights of Toyota Motor Philippines' all-new WeGo launch as our special feature. The next 60 minutes is all about the automobile. This is Autofocus and we'll be right back after this short break. You want a new car but don't know what model you like? You want a new car but don't know who will give you the best deal it offers? And before you can make a final choice, you'll need to book a few test drives and visit so many dealers and showrooms. For all these, save yourself the time and effort. Just go to one convenient venue. The Autofocus Free Christmas Multi-Brand Test Drive Festival presented by Caltex on November 16-19 to at the SM Mall of Asia Concert Grounds. Take your pick from sedans, SUVs, sports cars, multi-purpose vehicles, vans and pickups, even hybrids and electric vehicles. Sangen, Ford, GAC, DWM, Honda, Hyundai, Isuzu, Mitsubishi, Nissan, Subaru, Suzuki, and Toyota will be there to show you what they have and let you test drive their models. The Autofocus Free Christmas Test Drive Festival presented by Caltex in cooperation with SM Offices and the SM Mall of Asia Complex, November 16 to 19. Your one-stop shop for all the latest models. No need to go anywhere else to get the car you want or need. See you there! Into new heights. Welcome back to Autofocus, the automobile show. We start this episode of Electronic Magazine with a review of one of the latest automobile models from Volkswagen. This car review takes a look at the Volkswagen Cross Santana. In this car review, we have Jos Altarejos, Volkswagen Philippines' Chief Operating Officer, helping to showcase the Santana in Crossover Guides. Hello everyone, I'm Josh Altarejos, I'm COO for Volkswagen Philippines. I'm here with you now, uh, with the Cross Santana, which is one of our newest crossovers. It is our entry crossover that you can actually purchase and see at our dealerships. I would like to highlight some points for you to have a better understanding of our product. The Cross Santana comes in polar white color. If you would like to see as we go around it, it would feature a number of spoilers, a front spoiler, the side spoiler, as well as the rear spoiler, as well as over fenders. In terms of the side, it would feature 17-inch blacked-out alloy wheels as well as an exhaust highlighted with the rear over fenders. If you would also look at the top, it would have the sunroof, which gives a better visibility as well as a more open feeling inside the cabin. 
The Cross Santana is one of our most affordable offers for the brand. Um, it is priced at 1,098 pesos, but do visit our dealers as we are offering significant promotions of as much as 100,000 pesos. In terms of the side profile as well, uh, you would see the Cross Santana badging at the rear door panels to highlight that this is a little bit different. This is a crossover for you. The 17-inch rims, the black cladding, front, side, and rear skirt, the roof rails do indeed give the Cross Santa a crossover vibe. Like the GTS, the crossover Santana also features halogen headlamps with turn signals, front and rear fog lamps, contributed front wipers, and rear window defogger. Volkswagen is targeting the Cross Santana at individuals looking for a vehicle that complements their need for work-life balance a reliable work week ride and fun weekend drive. The Cross Santana is a practical ride with features that also provide the basic conveniences now expected in crossovers. Keyless entry, power windows with one touch up and down control for driver, central door locking, multi-function display, multi-function steering wheel, air conditioning with manual controls and all-in filter, and cruise control. So for the Cross Santana, it would have a spacious um, boot uh, or luggage space. So if you would see, it has actually a very deep um, access in, so that you can actually maximize the storage space. The rear seats also fold 60-40 uh, so that you can actually put in longer items at the back. For uh, the front uh, seats, it would feature, as mentioned, the leather seat uh, with the fabric trim inserts. It would have this red accent as well, um, both on the panel and on the seats accordingly. Uh, it comes with a six-speed automatic transmission as well as the seven-inch infotainment system with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. The infotainment system features AM, FM radio, CD and MP3 player, aux in, SD slot, USB portal, and plays through six speakers. The Cross Santana shares the same engine as that on the Santana GTS. So it comes with a 1.5-liter uh, naturally aspirated engine mated to a six-speed automatic transmission. So it would provide the right power and efficiency for a vehicle this size. The 1498cc inline-4 engine with multi-point fuel injection generates 110 PS at 6,000 revolutions per minute and 150 newton meters of torque at 4,000 RPM. The six-speed automatic transmission drives the front wheels. The Cross Antenna rides the same suspension features as those on the GTS. Front independent McPherson struts and rear semi-independent composite torsion beam. The brakes use the front ventilated disc and rear drum combo. The Cross Antenna is also equipped with a host of safety and security features that include front passenger and side airbags, electronic stabilization program with brake assistant, anti-lock brake system, anti-slip regulation, rear parking distance control, and immobilizer. Thank you everyone for viewing the Cross Santana. We would like to invite you to come visit our dealerships all around the Philippines. Thank you from Volkswagen Philippines. If you are among those who prefer crossovers over sedans for your daily drive and are looking to own one with the cachet of a European or German brand, the Cross Santana makes for a very affordable first Volkswagen. The latest auto industry news and developments right after this break. At the core of Toyota Gazoo Racing lies Motorsports DNA. Combine that with the Philippines' best selling sedan, you get the Vios GRS. Its black accent details and aero kit upgrade capture the feel and excitement on the track and the 10-speed CVT that exudes the TGR competitive spirit. On the road or on the track, always be ready for a heart racing exhilarating ride. The Vios GRS, bring on the thrill. So you want a new car but don't know what model you like? You want a new car but don't know who will give you the best deal it offers? And before you can make a final choice, you'll need to book a few test drives and visit so many dealers and showrooms. For all these, save yourself the time and effort. Just go to one convenient venue. 
the Autofocus Pre-Christmas Multi-Brand Test Drive Festival presented by Caltech on November 16-19 to at the SM Mall of Asia Concert Grounds. Take your pick from sedans, SUVs, sports cars, multi-purpose vehicles, vans and pickups, even hybrids and electric vehicles. Sangen, Ford, GAC, DWM, Honda, Hyundai, Isuzu, Mitsubishi, Nissan, Subaru, Suzuki, and Toyota will be there to show you what they have and let you test drive their models. The Autofocus Free Christmas Test Drive Festival presented by Caltex in cooperation with SM Offices and the SM Mall of Asia Complex, November 16 to 19. Your one-stop shop for all the latest models. No need to go anywhere else to get the car you want or need. See you there! Life should be filled with stories. To be liked and loved, elevate your drive with the new Honda City. Take value and performance to the next level, so you can view more places and check into new experiences with Honda Sensing, you can do all these with peace of mind, with its modern design and advanced features. The new Honda City is for those who are ready to step up their game. The new Honda City. Elevate your drive. Welcome back to Auto Focus. We now have the latest auto industry news. Sai Motor Philippines, local distributor of the MG brand, has added two more electric vehicles to a market that's slowly getting crowded with cars and SUVs exempted from the inconvenient coding scheme. The Marvel R Electric and the MG4 Electric were publicly unveiled at the BGC High Street Activity Center and offered test drives over one long fun weekend. Today we are launching two very exciting EV products. One is the Marvel R, it's a very luxury SUV. And another one is the MG4, sporty sedan. The MG4 EV hatchback comes in two trim levels. The MG4 EV standard priced at 1,468,888 pesos and the MG4 EV Lux at 1,738,888 pesos. While only one variant is available locally for the MG Marvel R Electric priced at 2,588,888 pesos. All come with an 8-year or 160,000km battery warranty and 5-year vehicle warranty. Psych Motor Philippines has set ambitious goals for MG brand in the country. In 2024, the target of the total sales will be around 18,000. 2024 and this is including our EV product and our ICE product and including the new launch the product models for next year. Volvo Philippines has rolled out two full electric vehicles, the C40 Recharge and the XC40 Recharge. The formal launch of the first Volvo models in the local lineup was held at the Power Plant Mall. And we chose it to do it here at the Rockwell Power Plant Mall, which used to be a power plant, a thermal power plant, just so that we, can, we know that you know, this is where electricity started and we are electrifying the Volvo and this new very important mall. Volvo describes the C40 and the XC40 recharge as superior in terms of power, range, charging speed, and battery capacity. The C40 recharge has a declared range of 549 kilometers. The XC40 Recharge 537 kilometers. Both offer quicker DC fast charging, averaging from 10% to 80% in just 27 minutes. The local Volvo lineup is now all made up of hybrid and full electric vehicles in line with the brand's global electrification strategy. And we see very good growth opportunities for our products. And when we look how the market is developing now, it's really, really in line with the strategy we have, which is go for full electric cars. And what you see here today is our latest model, the XC40 BEV and the C40 BEV, the first full electric vehicles that we now are launching in Philippines. Right now, our strategy is to go full electric. And by year 2030, we will only have full electric cars. That is the way we have chosen going forward. The XC40 Recharge is priced at 3,990,000 pesos, while the C40 Recharge is priced at 4,190,000 pesos. Both also come with a Volvo ownership package that includes an 8-year battery warranty, 5-year roadside assistance, 3-year comprehensive car warranty, 1 wall box charger, 
and unlimited digital update service. Subaru invited members of media to experience riding and driving the all-new Subaru Crosstrek. The drive started from the Subaru Manila Bay and ended at the Mimosa Plus Golf Course in Clark, Pampanga. So we are here today in Clark, Mimosa, Pampanga for the Subaru Crosstrek Media Drive event. So this is an opportunity for our media friends to be able to experience and drive the all-new Crosstrek with all the latest technologies and features that we have to offer. The long drive and varied road conditions and traffic situations showcase the unique qualities and on-road capabilities of the all-new Crosstrek. The all-new Subaru Crosstrek is Subaru's entry to the premium compact crossover segment. You know? But what makes this vehicle stand out amongst its competitors in the segment is that it has all the latest technologies that are unique to Subaru like the um, boxer engine that is very much known for its balance um, feature that allows for less vibration. Now we have the symmetrical all-wheel drive system that is very much capable in handling different types of all conditions, road conditions, and even weather conditions. Now, we also have the Subaru Core technology for its platform that provides for a very rigid stable and comfortable ride for the vehicle and finally of course one of the best features in the market right now is the eyesight 4.0 safety feature that provides different types of active and passive um, safety technologies that would allow for a safer drive when you are driving the all-new crosstrek i would like to take this opportunity to invite everyone to please come and visit any of our showrooms nationwide and test drive the all-new Crosstrek as well as all the other models that we have in our lineup and get to experience firsthand you know, the difference of driving a Subaru. You know, the technologies that we have, the, the safety features, the comfort, and the performance. Those are the latest news and developments in the automotive industry. We should take another short break. Stay with us. I'll be right back. So, you want a new car but don't know what model you like? You want a new car but don't know who'll give you the best deal it offers? And before you can make a final choice, you'll need to book a few test drives and visit so many dealers and showrooms. For all these, save yourself the time and effort. Just go to one convenient venue. The Autofocus Free Christmas Multi-Brand Test Drive Festival presented by Caltex on November 16-19 to at the SM Mall of Asia Concert Grounds. Take your pick from sedans, SUVs, sports cars, multi-purpose vehicles, vans and pickups, even hybrids and electric vehicles. Sangen, Ford, GAC, DWM, Honda, Hyundai, Isuzu, Mitsubishi, Nissan, Subaru, Suzuki, and Toyota will be there to show you what they have and let you test drive their models. The Autofocus Free Christmas Test Drive Festival presented by Caltex in cooperation with SM Offices and the SM Mall of Asia Complex November 16 to 19, your one-stop shop for all the latest models. No need to go anywhere else to get the car you want or need. See you there!
Welcome back to Autofocus, the country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine. Here's our comparison of the latest automobile malls belong to the same category on Head to Head. This head-to-head -head pits the Mitsubishi Expander GLS 4 automatic transmission, now listed at 1.198 million, against the Toyota Avanza GCVT, listed at 1.059 million, in a spec-to-spec -spec compare. Toyota and Mitsubishi have been battling each other segment to segment, model to model, variant to variant for decades now. Overall, Toyota has had the advantage through the years, counting triple crowns for over a decade, but Mitsubishi has had years of getting the edge in segment, model, or variant. And in most years, it was a close and heated battle for sales. In the subcompact MPV segment, Mitsubishi has had good years with the Expander. And invariably, the battle for the top tier of the segment was against the Avanza. Let's check what the Mitsubishi Expander GLS 4 AT offers against the Toyota Avanza GCVT in this head-to-head -head comparo. The Mitsubishi Expander GLS is 4,595mm long, 1,750mm wide, and 1,750mm tall, with a 2,775mm long wheelbase and 225mm ground clearance. The Toyota Avanza GCVT is 4,395mm long, 1,730mm wide and 1,700mm tall. It clears the ground by 190mm. The Mitsubishi Expander GLS comes with a signature T-shaped head and tail lights, LED-type headlamps, front fog lamps with silver painted bezel, a redesigned horizontal front bumper, side sills, and 17-inch wheels. It also features chrome dynamic shield grille, color keyed front and rear bumpers with painted on garnish, chrome belt line molding, silver painted side sail garnish, power folding chrome side view mirrors with integrated turn light. It also comes standard with rear window defogger, LED type tail lamps, lift type tailgate, rear spoiler with high mounts top lamp, front and rear towing hooks, and shark fin antenna. The third generation of Avanza looks as contemporary as other latest generation Toyota crossovers, including the Rays which shares the same DNGA unibody platform. The slim split-type LED headlights, the large and deep black trapezoidal grille, the character lines on the side all help to project a sleek modern look. Toyota also equipped the Avanza G with LED clearance lamp, front fog lamps, side view mirrors that power adjust and fold and feature turn lights. LED rear combination lamps with reflectors, intermittent front and rear wipers, rear spoiler, high mount stop lamp, and fin type antenna. The Mitsubishi Expander GLS comes with keyless entry and engine push start system. The Expander dashboard features Mitsubishi's horizontal axis design identity, highlighted by a colored multi information display monitor and white lit high contrast instrument cluster. The seats are upholstered in rich fabric. Both front seats slide and recline, with a driver getting a dial-type height adjuster. The second row seat splits 60-40 and slides, reclines, folds, and tumbles. The third row seat for two splits 50-50 and can be reclined or folded fully flat. The GLS features leather on the gear shift knob and lever, and silver and piano black accents on the floor center console box with armrest. Also wrapped in leather, the three-spoke steering wheel tilts and telescopes, and comes with controls for the audio system and cruise control. Other comfort and convenience features in the Expander GLS includes air conditioning with heater and digital controls, power windows and door locks, and electronic parking brake. The Expander is also equipped with three 12-volt accessory outlets, six cup holders, bottle holders on each of the four doors, rear cargo storage box, and convenience hook on driver's seat. The Avanza G CVT comes with keyless entry and push button start. The cabin is now much roomier than its predecessor. Two tone fabric upholstery makes it homey despite the carbon fiber accents. Both front seats slide and recline while the second row seat for three slide, recline, and tumble to provide what Toyota calls long sofa mode. That means it tumbles flat. The third row seat for two also tumbles flat to provide the same long sofa mode. The instrument cluster features a 4.2-inch TFT multi-information display between the circular speedometer and tachometer. 
The steering wheel comes in plain urethane, but it tilts and telescopes and features switches for the audio and multi-information display in the Avanza GCVT. The shift tray at the top of the line Avanza is also plain urethane, but features sequential shift function. All Avanza variants come with power windows, power speed sensing door locks, air conditioning with digital controls in the front console and manual controls for the rear vents. The new Expander GLS infotainment system features a 7-inch smartphone link display audio touchscreen with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, Bluetooth, radio tuner, a USB, and six speakers. Infotainment and connectivity at the top of the line Avanza come with 8-inch audio display system with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, AM FM radio, Bluetooth and USB portal, and four speakers. The Expander is powered by a 1499cc engine, four-cylinder, 16-valve MyVec gasoline engine that generates 104.5 PS and 141 Nm of torque. The GLS comes only with a four-speed automatic transmission that drives the front wheels. The Expander GLS suspension uses front McPherson struts with coil spring with stabilizer and torsion beams in the rear. The brakes use ventilated front discs and leading and trailing drums in the rear. The Avanza GCVT is powered by a 2NRVE 1496cc engine that makes out 106 PS at 6000 RPM and 138 Newton meters at 4200 RPM. Power and torque are set to the front wheels via a continuously variable transmission. The third generation of Avanza has vastly improved ride and comfort compared to its predecessor, owing perhaps to its new unibody construction and the tuning of the suspension system featuring the front McPherson strut and rear torsion beam combo. Reliable stopping power comes from a brake system featuring front ventilated discs and rear drums. Mitsubishi equipped the Expander GLS with active stability control, traction control and hill start assist, anti-lock braking system with electronic brake force distribution, brake assist in the GLS at a reverse camera. The Expander is also equipped with front SRS airbags, three-point ELR seat belts for seven with pretensioners in the front row, child-proof locks, tether anchor, side impact beams, and laminated green glass. Toyota equipped all three of Avanza variants with anti-lock brake system and vehicle stability control with traction control, hill start assist, three-point ELR seat belts for seven with driver and front passenger getting pretensioner and force limiter, ISOFIX child restraint system, and dual airbags. The Avanza GCVT shares with a mid-priced ECVT and EMT, back camera and rear sonar as well as a Toyota vehicle security system with alarm and immobilizer. The top-of-the-line Avanza is also equipped with blind spot monitoring and rear cross-traffic alerts as well as side and curtain shield airbags. After looking at the price difference between the Expander and the Avanza and comparing the specs of both, which would you rather place a down payment? Zoom UX. Take the lead. Are you into grassroots racing, slaloms, autocross, time attacks, and circuit racing? Do you like to keep your daily ride in tip-top condition? Do you want to improve the performance and ride of your vehicle? Then head over to Fix Stop Auto Service along 91 Congressional Avenue, Project 8 in Kazan City. Fix Stop Auto Service can level up the performance and ride of your daily rider weekend racer of all brands, models, and makes from Japanese, American, European, and all other global manufacturers. Fix Stop Auto Service offers preventive maintenance services as well as upgrades of brakes, suspension, and other mechanical works. Fix Stop also caters to all your needs for performance tires and accessories to make your dream vehicle stand out on the road or for just your enjoyment. For appointments, call 0917-803-8283 or message us on our Facebook page, www.facebook.com slash Fix Stop Auto Service. 
Hello, I'm Johan Tiu from Sonax Philippines. We are at LG2 e. Rodriguez and we will be showcasing our new DIY line, the what we call the Extreme Ceramic Series from Sonax. The next one that we're gonna we're gonna show you how to use is a ceramic ultra slick detailer. So this product is your quick solution to instantly apply a ceramic coating on your car and also instantly clean it give it an instant gloss, instant solution for a gloss. So this is very easy to use. So you just spray on a clean microfiber cloth, then just apply it on the body of your car. Oh, but make sure your car is also clean and doesn't have any dirt. So after applying, spray some water, so you can see the water beading hydrophobic effect instantly. So this product can give you a ceramic coating that could last you around eight to 16 car washes. So there you go. So that's how easy it is to apply the Extreme Ceramic Series from Sonax. For more information, you can visit our FB page, which is Sonax Page Official, our IG page, which is also Sonax Page Official, and TikTok page, which is also Sonax Page Official. So it's very easy to find us. Thank you. Mitsubishi Montero Sport. Mastery in motion. Drive your ambition. Mitsubishi Motors. So, you want a new car but don't know what model you like? You want a new car but don't know who'll give you the best deal that offers? And before you can make a final choice, you'll need to book a few test drives and visit so many dealers and showrooms. For all these, save yourself the time and effort. Just go to one convenient venue. The Autofocus Free Christmas Multi-Brand Test Drive Festival presented by Caltex on November 16 to 19 at the SM Mall of Asia Concert Grounds. Take your pick from sedans, SUVs, sports cars, multi-purpose vehicles, vans and pickups, even hybrids and electric vehicles. Sangen, Ford, GAC, DWM, Honda, Hyundai, Isuzu, Mitsubishi, Nissan, Subaru, Suzuki, and Toyota will be there to show you what they have and let you test drive their models. The Autofocus Free Christmas Test Drive Festival presented by Caltex in cooperation with SM Offices and the SM Mall of Asia Complex, November 16 to 19. Your one-stop shop for all the latest models. No need to go anywhere else to get the car you want or need. See you there! Welcome back to Autofocus, the country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine. Our special feature is next. Toyota has done well with the Wego, selling more than 149,000 of small hatchbacks since it was first introduced locally back in 2014. Toyota expects to continue to do the same with the all-new Wego. This special feature takes us to the exciting public launch of the all-new Wego. We are currently at Tainoma Activity Center. Today we have the launch of the all-new Toyota Wego in this event. The Wego has become one of the favorite vehicles in our lineup. With this new model, we are showing the new features, the big changes in this product, and we believe uh, it will continue to be the good partner of uh, customers who are first time coming into the formal market and uh, we will be able to showcase to them. At the very outset, when you see the Wego, it's uh, bigger, longer, wider, and it's a completely refreshed design. It's a new design. And then uh, it also has improvements in its safety features. There's improvement in its uh, driving performance. The automatic is already CVT. 
The Redo is already a uh, eight inch, more convenient uh, knife design, and uh, uh, basically it's more spacious also inside. We have three variants. The top of the line being the GCVT, which is seven hundred twenty nine thousand, and then we have the mid grade, which is the ECVT, coming at six hundred eighty four thousand, and then we also have the J grade manual which is uh, 609,000. Well, we have been launching uh, several models uh, recently and then uh, we will continue to plan out and come out with exciting models. And of course, there's a lot of uh, promotional campaigns as well. But on top of the products, we also have expansion of the services that we provide to, to the customers via our new mobility company. As the most affordable in the local lineup of Toyota, the Wigo has earned a reputation as the Toyota starter, the first Toyota for many families. You want a new car but don't know what model you like? You want a new car but don't know who'll give you the best deal it offers? And before you can make a final choice, you'll need to book a few test drives and visit so many dealers and showrooms. For all these, save yourself the time and effort. Just go to one convenient venue. The Autofocus Free Christmas Multi-Brand Test Drive Festival presented by Caltex on November 16 to 19 at the SM Mall of Asia Concert Grounds. Take your pick from sedans, SUVs, sports cars, multi-purpose vehicles, vans and pickups, even hybrids and electric vehicles. Sangen, Ford, GAC, DWM, Honda, Hyundai, Isuzu, Mitsubishi, Nissan, Subaru, Suzuki and Toyota will be there to show you what they have and let you test drive their models. The Autofocus Free Christmas Test Drive Festival presented by Caltex in cooperation with SM Offices and the SM Mall of Asia Complex November 16 to 19, your one-stop shop for all the latest models. No need to go anywhere else to get the car you want or need. See you there! Welcome back. We have more cars for you to know and appreciate as we have our second car review this week. The Hyundai Staria arrived late last year with much fanfare as the successor to the popular Hyundai Star X. This car V checks out one of the three variants made available locally, the 2.2 CRDI GLS Plus Auto Manage Transmission. When Hyundai Motor Philippines formally relaunched the brand of the local market in August of 2022, it rolled out two new models of the all-new Creta, a B-segment SUV, and the Staria, a premium banner MPV, along with the refreshed models in its local lineup. The Staria immediately caught the attention of the MPV and van market with its futuristic design in an interior with the latest tech and trendy creature comforts for VIP. The Steria doesn't look like the vans already in the market and should stand out with its low belt line and tall stands. Hyundai rolled out four variants of the Steria. The 7th year 2.2 CRDI Premium Plus 8AT AWD, the 11th seater 2.2 CRDI GLS Plus 8AT, the 2.2 CRDI Commuter 6MT, and the 3 seater 2.2 CRDI Cargo 6MT. This car review takes a closer look at the 11-seater 2.2 CRDI GLS Plus. Like the Premium Plus and the Commuter, the Hyundai 2.2 CRDI GLS Plus 8AT is 5,253 meters long, 1,970 millimeters wide, and 1,990 millimeters tall. 
The wheelbase is 3,273 millimeters long and the Staria clears the ground by 186 millimeters. Those dimensions as well as a unibody construction and front-wheel drive layout allow the Staria to seat 11 passengers in comfort in the GLS Plus variant with lower floorboard and taller interior height. But more on the interior later. The fascia with a unique grille, bumper and headlight design concept. The GLS Plus features LED multi-face reflector headlights with auto light control, LED daytime running lights, position lamp, bulb type rear combination lamps and fog light. The body color side view mirrors power adjust and fold and come integrated with turn signals. Like the CRDI commuter, the GLS Plus comes with body color outside door handles, sliding rear doors on both sides, and a manual lift tailgate. The body color front grille adds rather than subtracts from the Staria GLS Plus futuristic look. It also shares the rear spoiler with a high mounts top lamp found in the top three variants. The GLS Plus comes with 17-inch alloy wheels. One gets into the Staria GLS Plus conveniently with a smart key and button start. The GLS Plus comes with leatherette seats that look both posh and comfortable. There's ample shoulder and leg room from front to the back. Up front are seats for driver and two passengers. The seats recline with a driver benefiting from a height adjuster. The multi-purpose design of the front passenger seat includes a foldable center console that makes room for a third passenger when raised. Right behind them is a bench-type seat for three which splits 60-40. Two independent seats are in row three. The final row features a bench set for three that easily slides to create extra luggage space in the back. All seats behind the driver can be folded flat to allow for more cargo space. The leather-wrapped steering wheel on the GLS Plus tilts and telescope and comes with controls for the audio system, Bluetooth, with voice recognition as well as conventional cruise control. The 10.25-inch TFT LCD sits on the dash to display for all the relevant info he needs on the drive as well as blind spot view monitor. Front and center is the 8-inch touchscreen display for the infotainment system with AM FM, Bluetooth, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto that plays through four speakers and two tweeters. The display also is for the surround view monitor when parking the vehicle. Underneath the touchscreen display are the controls and buttons for such conveniences as the air conditioning system. Other comfort and convenience features in the GLS Plus include central door locks, wireless charger, USB chargers on the front tray, seat and luggage side, power windows, overhead console and room lamps. The Staria is powered by a 2199cc CRDI VGT DOHC 16-valve engine complied with Euro 4 emission regulations. The engine generates 177 PS at 3800 revolutions per minute and 430 Nm of torque from 1500 to 2500 RPM. In the GLS Plus, the engine is mated to an 8-speed automatic transmission that sends power and torque to the front wheels. The Staria powertrain also comes with drive mode select from Eco, Comfort, Smart, and Sport. Unibody construction also allow for a more comfortable ride with a suspension that uses McPherson struts with coil spring in front and rigid axle 5 link with coil spring in the back. The brake system uses 17-inch discs on all four wheels. Hyundai also equipped the Staria GLS Plus with various safety and driver assist features that include anti-lock brake system, hill start assist control, electronic parking brake with auto hold, manual speed limit assist, and tire pressure monitoring system. It also comes with parking distance warning, forward and reverse, surround view monitor. Added for safety are dual front airbags, side and curtain airbags, child seat anchors, child lock, and three-point seat belts. Many believe the Star X helped make Hyundai a trusted brand in the country. The Hyundai Star X has the look, tech, and features that should attract families looking for a cool and comfortable van. 
Know more about your car and how to take care of it here on Autopedia. Hi, this is Sydney, and today we'll talk about shock absorbers. So this is your vehicle shock absorber. As the name implies, it absorbs the shock of the bad roads that we have here in the Philippines. Now, old timers will ask you, and then, ano ba yung shock mo? Fluid or gas? Wala nang fluid shock ngayon. They're all gas shocks. But here's the thing: inside here is both gas and fluid. It's called gas shock because up here there is pressurized nitrogen gas here, but the shock absorption is still done by oil. It's still a fluid. It's just that the old old shocks don't have any pressurized gas and it's just fluid. So now it's both gas and fluid. All shocks right now are like that. As you can imagine, this thing goes up and down to absorb the shock. This is actually called a McPherson strut. After named after the guy who invented it. So what that simply means is that there is a basso here where the spring sits. This bolts on to the axle and the hub, and this bolts to the chassis. So the big question is, how do you know if sirat na yung shocks mo? The easiest, fastest, and most sure way to find out, you have to take the shock out of the car to be able to tell if it's busted or not. So here we have two shocks. One is new, one is old. This one is busted, and I'll show you why. As you can see, it don't go up no more. Effectively, this thing is not absorbing any shock at all. And we compare it to a new shock. As you can see, it has to go up on its own and it has to go up pretty fast. If it doesn't go up this fast, it's also busted. Or dead or dying. New, old, dead, alive. You may have heard the old school advice also. You make kalog kalog the car to see if the shocks are okay. That is also not true, and I'll show you why. We have several cars here to demonstrate. The old school wisdom is, if it does that, that the shock is okay. No, not necessarily. Because what you're doing is just pushing down on the spring, and it just goes up. What makes the shock goes up is actually the spring. Then we have here another car. <laughs> it doesn't go up or down, so what does that mean? The shock is busted? No, it's not. BMs are really like that. That's why the handling is good. Uh, here, we have a Fortuner. It bounces a lot more than the Ford Explorer. But is the shock dead? No, it's not. It's just really like that. <laughs> so that method doesn't really work. You cannot be certain if your suspension is good or bad just by doing the bounce test. No, because every car behaves differently when you bounce it. So the only real way to know if your shock is good or bad is to have it taken out and then do the press test what I just did. Ano magandang bili na shock? You can always always buy OEM. You can go to the casa, buy whatever that they're selling and then call it a day. It is after all the same spec as what you have. If you're looking for something cheaper, get one of these. KYB XLG. This is pretty much the same spec as the original shock, but of course at a cheaper price. And chances are, if you have a Japanese car, KYB has an application for it. So this is a front shock. This is a rear shock. This, I believe, is for a Honda Jazz. This, I believe, is for a Lancer. If you want to step up from something better, KYB also has this. It's called a new SR Special. It looks exactly the same as the shock that's going to be taken out. The big difference is what's inside here. This one will actually give a better ride than what you have because, like I said, it's a shock absorber. It's better at absorbing the shock. And there are things that make it slightly better. A bigger and fatter shaft than the original one. The piston inside here is also better than the valving is also slightly different. And this one is built to take lowering springs if your ride is lowered. Because if you put lowering springs on a OEM shock, chances are in less than a year, your shock ain't gonna work no more as well. So might as well get a set of these. And for German cars, there's only one go-to brand. It's Bilstein. That's it. <laughs> so there, hopefully, you have now a better understanding of what your vehicle shock absorbers does and how to spot if it's 
busted. That's our feature in Autopedia this week. Taking care of your ride has been made easier. And that's Autofocus this week. We hope you found this episode of Electronic Automobile Magazine informative as well as entertaining. Check us out on our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts. On behalf of my dad, Butch Gamboa, this has been your host, Ray Louis Gamboa. Please stay safe and healthy.